Well, this is a sight no one wants to see. Tahara McDonald sharing this video with us showing flooding inside of her mom's house in Dumas. It's a result of all the rain we've gotten over the past day or so across the natural state. And let the forecast tell it there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, we want to begin the five o'clock hour with a first look at the weather forecast, which is why we're turning things over to Chief Meteorologist Tom Brandon for an update. Tom. Well, good afternoon. And I got to tell you, looking back to yesterday, there was a forecast model that really pinpointed where most of this rain was going to fall today. But I didn't use it last night. And I'll tell you why, because I thought it was crazy. It was putting up 12 to 15 inches of rainfall in southeast Arkansas. I just thought it was a little much. But then what happens today in a 12 hour period? That's what happens. You get 8, 9, 10, 12, and in some cases upwards of 15 and 16 inches of rain. You know, it's tough sometimes. You look at these forecast models, you go, yeah, that just seems a little bit outrageous, but not today. And yeah, the folks in southeast Arkansas have had a very rough spring, and now they've got too much water to deal with. Uh, these are rainfall estimates, but it's very likely some places may have picked up more than that. We still have plenty of flood warnings in effect uh, covering up Pine Bluff in Jefferson County down to Star City, Lincoln County, even Monticello and Drew and McGee in Deshaies County. So we still have the flood threat for the evening hours. In fact, uh, looking at storm reports, got to mention this down in Dumas. The police chief said that all streets in Dumas have standing water. Some buildings are inundated. People keep driving in and out of flood waters. What is the one thing that we, we try to encourage folks to do? Turn around, don't drown. Because if you get stuck and if the uh, rate of water is quick enough, it could wash your vehicle away. We still have rain and thunderstorms, but some good news. We're getting a break. More activity is developing over southern Arkansas, places that have already picked up way too much uh, water. So more tonight is expected. Here is a look at uh, statewide radar. You can see that we've got one disturbance moving away, but more activity is starting to build back over southern Arkansas. Flash flood watches were made in effect even for central Arkansas. Temperatures are in the 70s. We'll look for those numbers to hold steady throughout the night, and even more rain is possible. This is a look at your weather. More is coming up. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Tom. A rare flash flooding emergency issued earlier today for parts of southeast Arkansas. Yeah, you heard Tom mention it. It's crazy. High water seeping into homes and businesses, shutting down several streets. And T Tree 11's Jay Jackson joins us live with what the Dumas police chief was saying down there. There's major impacts to homeowners and drivers. It was around noon here in Dumas where heavy rain started to cause this much flooding. Now, of course, the area sits on flat land, which is why it's so easy for flooding to occur. Now, in the Dumas Police Department was offering sandbags to resi residents at the local armory, but now if they could drive, but only if they could drive up there to get them. The police chief told me if folks needed help to get them, they could call and try to get accommodated as much as they could been out, you know, trying to get people sandbags that couldn't get out. But as I look around, I just feel like, what else can I do? Just don't, don't, don't get scared. Don't overreact or anything. I'm going to say, um, if you think you need help, call us. I'm going to say, and we'll uh, make every effort to get to you. Keep in mind, of course, safety is the number one priority out here. There have been many reports from drivers going past the barricades or of drivers going past different barricades and then they're needing to be rescued. Law enforcement reminding everyone do not drive in flooded water. It only takes seconds for something bad to happen. Reporting live in Dumas, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Thanks so much, Jade. Stay safe out there. The rain isn't finished just yet, folks. To stay on top of the latest weather, use our interactive radar and be sure you've downloaded the THV 11 app. It's free in your app store.